Hey there, it's Anya. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I have something super exciting to share with you. Um, I just love our wax community. Like, I love it so, so much. The inclusive, inclusivity, the all-inclusive, <laughs> um, passion for home fragrance, and then all these amazing personalities it's just so inviting to be here and present with you guys and I just really loving getting to know so many of you within the YouTube community as well as Instagram all the socials because we're all wax addicts and all wax fiends and um, a part of many of the same groups <laughs> on Facebook you know because we got to keep on the ups and ups for pre-orders and ready to ship and also supporting other small businesses that have like products similar products but different you know what I mean so um, Emily from the candle nurse had reached out to me on Instagram about a brick that she wanted to offload and I told her I'd be glad to pay her for it because it's something I haven't had in a really long time and I really enjoy it um, but she so don't worry about it um, and then <laughs> she said she had asked if I um, would wouldn't mind trying some of her her samples or her wax and I was like I have been wanting to it's just my impulse shopping always has me tapped out every time that you have an opening so she's like well I wouldn't mind sending you some I'm like oh that's so cool and she's like I've got other stuff too that I'm gonna send along unbeknownst to me I was thinking it was gonna be like a like a priority mailer, which I'm totally fine with. I love like the priority mailers. Packages are packages and it's like Christmas every time it goes to the mailbox. It's part of the reason I think why I like buying wax as much as I do because one, it's like a twofer. You're excited to see what's in the package, just like on Christmas, and they all smell something amazing that it's just, I guess it's a that dopamine fix that we all are attached to when it comes to wax so <laughs> needless to say she sent me this amazing box and I can't wait to get into this and share with you what she gifted me um, I am loving her strawberry tape like oh my gosh the strawberry and the strawberry blossoms um, they're just so cute so if you want to know what she decided to share with me Thank you, Emily, if I haven't said it more than once, which I did already <laughs> in our messages together. Um, Precursor, thank you so very much for your generosity, being a part of this wax community. I love your channel, love your content, love your in-depth reviews of scents and scent notes, and I'm very much looking forward to seeing what's packed in here. So if you want to know too, then just keep on watching. Okay, so the box came beautifully packaged. We have the thermal wrap on top, and we have her business card for her goodies. Sorry, it's not out of focus. Emily Dominguez is the owner of The Candle Nurse. You can find her on YouTube and on Instagram, and as well as on Facebook. Her website is mycandlenurse.com. And on Instagram, she is M underscore the candle nurse. Love that. And then she gave me this really cute sticker. I love it because it does have a little her uh, logo on the boxes, but this applies to all <laughs> of the wax, which is perfect because she is a wax addict and we all are if we're here on this community. And then she included a note which uh, is personal so I won't read that but thank you Emily for thinking of me and I am having an amazing day one because of the weather it's finally fall out here and two because of your kindness so thank you so much very much looking forward to this 
even more so more so to go with the paper or the tape we have strawberry tissue paper <laughs> love this this is so cute and then when I started to take this and I, I was I, I took a sneak peek because <laughs> I have a problem clearly but this opening I know you guys know when you open a wax package it just smells and radiates deliciousness so I am so excited to get into this box so first up here I am seeing some bathing garden so this is um, circus marshmallow why does it do that technically I have technical issues uh, so this is marshmallow fluff whipped cream black currant almonds fruity pop tarts I'm definitely getting the marshmallow and that whipped cream, but there's like this, the currants and the fruity pop tarts. This reminds me of like these little, it was the strawberry, strawberry shortcake cartoon family of like dolls or miniature toys that they made. They made ones that were scented and my sister and I both had one and they would be like a, a Barbie kind of but like their skirt would flip up like a pancake a pancake a cupcake liner and then the hats would they would fold basically up into a cupcake shape and they would be sent at the hat and the skirt which is a weird place to have sent but that's what it reminds me of that is so cool talk about a childhood memory Ooh, a lavender one um also from the bathing garden lavender jam and this is French Lavender Vanilla and Sugary Jam. This is a beautiful lavender. Oh, it's broken. I can't take it out. Well, look at that. So pretty. That is such a beautiful lavender and vanilla. I am getting like a sugary syrup too. That's like a very much a sweetened, but not a bakery lavender per se but it's a very sweetened up lavender and i'm gonna love the heck out of that it's going in my lavender basket then we have two three here from k's um the first one is the strawberry rhubarb pie so rhubarb marmalade strawberries and pie crust let me some strawberry Ooh. This is very a very tart but candied. I don't know if you guys have ever had strawberry rhubarb pie, but it's phenomenal. I don't really get the pie crust though. Regardless, give me all the strawberries. I'm gonna try every single one. <laughs> so that is good. I can't wait to try that. Oh, here's another bathing garden. Seven layer cake. I love the glitter. Love the embed. Mmm. Sugar frosting, white cake, and hand strawberries. Yeah, it smells like strawberry white cake. But better. Not as like candied strawberry or like strawberry syrup. You know, like the Nesquik syrup. That's kind of what that gives me plus the cake. Yeah. And then we have strawberry cupcakes. I've had this one before from Kay. And I enjoyed it. Um, this is vanilla cupcake strawberries and whipped cream. Yeah, I like that one too. And this one doesn't smell like strawberry white cake, but it gives me like fresh cut strawberries or like the powdered strawberries, like the, they're freeze dried strawberries with creaminess from like the, the uh, gourmand. But I'm not I'm really getting, wow. I'm not really getting the cupcake and the whipped cream per se, but you can tell there's vanilla in there. Oh, I had this in my cart with Kay. This is berry topped waffles. And Christine from Christine Sensing talks about this one. This is mixed berry compote waffles and whipped cream. Give me all the things. Oh yeah, that's so good. I'm even getting like a like a juice of like a lemon with the compote. Usually you put like a juice of some sort of citrus just to brighten up the fruit. And the waffle, that is yummy. I'm here for that. Is it the same as berry waffle cone from Bath and Body Works? Maybe I need to pick up one of those candles too. Okay. Oh, 
man, my beloved strawberry pound cake. Love this one as well. Vanilla pound cake and strawberries and cream. This is so good. Oop, she's broken. Yeah, but she has got a really good strawberry pound cake oil. I love this. I blew through, I think I had two clams of that from her last year and I went through it very quickly. In case it's very well for me. Her wax is harder, but it does very well for me in my tea lights and as well as my hotter, my hotter Scentsy warmer. It's not really my pumpkins per se. Those are like 20 watt, but my 25 watt and 40 bulb warmers and then my um, element warmers do well too. Here's another one from Kay, Wildberry Cheesecake. Yum. Do you know I just love berry scents? <laughs> like, thank you. Rich vanilla cheesecake and sweet berries. Yeah, that's good. I get the tang from the cheesecake and the berries in this. This is definitely different than Wildberry Mousse though. Oh, I like that too. Love this color. You can't really tell, but it's like a dark violet. So pretty. Okay, then we have two here from Traverse City. We have black raspberry and vanilla. Black raspberries, creamy vanilla, light florals, and citrus. Definitely get the citrus, but this definitely reminds me of like um, black raspberry from vanilla from Scentsy. But I like this version too. Actually, I think I like this more than the one from Scentsy because I'm getting more of the citrus. Yes, it does have the floral note, but most berries, berry notes that I have experienced prior to coming to Vendor, they have like a floral tone to them because that's just how the notes come off. Very excited to try that and it's going to be delicious mixed things. Then we have strawberry cheesecake stuffed waffle cone from Traverse. Creamy cheesecake, fresh strawberries, and sugared waffle cone. Oh, Yes. I love cheesecake scents. Oh, that is so creamy. And I get the, like, the nuttiness of the waffle cone. Yum. And I have a wax cake from a different vendor that will pair very well with that. So I can, like, do every warmer. Not, no warmer left behind, which is awesome. Okay. There's so many little things in here. Okay, we'll do... Um, lavender, and, uh, lavender and speckles here. Ooh, this must be from the sampler. This is espresso on the beach, which is espresso and boom, love best espresso. How does this work? Oh, I love this. <laughs> wow. Boom, boom can really be mixed with anything. I like that. That takes that boom boom up a notch like adding like an espresso note to a perfume to give it like a more 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 richness more depth with a chocolate undertone with the pistachio Ugh. stop it right now that's good okay and then we have two here i'm guessing from the a barbershop sampler maybe oh we have three from the barbershop that one has barbershop too Okay, let me take all these out. Love these bags. Good thick bags. Okay, we have Barbershop and Vanilla Brooch and Pine Cones. I'm loving Vanilla Brooch since last year. Oh, that is pretty. I can't remember if her stuff pops out easily or not. Yes, it does. You just gotta work it. Oh, I love that. I like Beth's Barbershop. It comes off clean, a little masculine. Then you get the extra notes of that birch and the pine cone. Just like a fresh. This is like a shave, a man shaving his beard outside while you're camping. <laughs> That's all I can give you, but that is phenomenal. I love that. Then we have Barbershop and Strawberry Pound Cake. Because why not? Let's try it. <laughs> I 
Stop it. This is so good. I'm definitely getting more of the strawberry pound cake, but it's not, I won't say it's 50-50. I want to say the strawberry pound cake is probably like 70-30 maybe. As in 70% strawberry pound cake and 30%. The barbershop, that is phenomenal. Okay. And then the regular barbershop. So yeah, I definitely had to have come from a sampler. So good. Thank you. Totally surprised by espresso on the beach. That's phenomenal. Okay. Lots of little samples in here. There's so many goodies. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you loaded me up, girl. And I just love that your all your stuff is in this like this Tiffany blue tealy color. I can't wait. So I am digging out all the stuff that is not yours. I'm going to have to do a continuance. So bear with me just a few moments here. Okay. Then we have here from L3 Waxy Wonders, Pumpkin Pie Vestas Embers, which I guess the Vestas Embers is the toasted marshmallow funnel cake and orange marmalade. Hmm. Pumpkin pie and orange should be interesting. I mean, gingerbread and lemon is good, so... That is very orangey though. I'm confused. It's giving like kind of like an orange pomander mixed with like holiday baking. I love this. <laughs> I love this a lot. I don't have a lot of orange things. So thank you for that because this is going to be a great refresher but still go along with my fall stuff so very much looking forward to that we have swanky here carrot cake cinnamon buns and cream cheese frosting i'm so sick of this phone okay it's like it was like a little rose oh that's very creamy i like carrot cake scents Mm-hmm. I like that a lot. What a cute little... I mean, I know it's cut in half, but it's still pretty. Hmm. Do I save that for spring or use it for fall? <laughs> we have another one from L3. It's a little sample here. Baker's Gonna Bake. Sugared shortbread. Raspberry iced lemon. I like a raspberry. Raspberry iced lemon for sure, and then then getting like the gourmand behind that. Yum! I mean, I know this is weird, but I might just put that in my bathroom melting basket because I like to do the samples out there. Or just refill. There's like a little tin right next to the TV that like a olive bucket that I put my samples in. Oh, this one is from Up the Creek in raspberry sugar and blackberry jam. That's nice. It's not like the really candied raspberry, but I do like the raspberry sugar oil. And that's a good blackberry. Hmm. Or I could just take all the berry, just have a berry melting montage and literally melt like <laughs> a clam of something and then grab all the berry samples and just have at it and have like a medley. That would be an amazing melting day. Anybody else, anybody else crazy like that? I know Maggie is. <laughs> Maggie mixes stuff all the time. Then we have here from Pharmacist Daughter Boardwalk Marshmallow Clouds Blend is all that it says here. Some pineapples. It's very perfumey, but I also smell coffee? Or not. Maybe there's some fruit. Maybe it's just sitting next to coffee. I don't know. That is pretty. Well, those are two melts I can do in my bedroom. I like that. Thank you. Um, then we have Swanky again. Blackberry Bougie Vanilla. These little circles are always so funny to me. I don't know why. I don't even know what they are. They just, they look... Are they berries? Like, or are they cherry? That is definitely a bougie vanilla. That's like a vanilla orchid sort of 
notes. Still pretty though. She's got a good blackberry too. Yes. Okay. Oh, this is cute. Okay, so this is a chocolate chip frappe. I'm guessing pharmacist's daughter. I like chocolate chip. That is very frappe, but that's like Starbucks coffee frappe. I'm getting a little hint of the chocolate, like a chocolate chip cookie. I really enjoy chocolate chip cookies. Fender Wax is amazing. I've had like three different oils in chocolate chip and I have found my favorite and I poured myself some so I have some in my stash for when that craving hits. This is this is pretty good. That coffee though is strong. I've been putting my coffee scents in my kitchen. Although there are some still within mylar in my dresser here. Um, yeah, we're really enjoying that. So like making sure like whatever I'm melting out here for the day, it doesn't clash. Um, we have some more Traverse, another sample in, or another sample in the Good Night Kisses. I'm going to say lavender. Maybe. Yeah. That is pretty. I don't know. It's one of the sweeter lavender oils that I really hate that description as a sweet lavender. It's only sweet because of the additional scent notes that are tied in with it, but you guys know what I mean. I don't know if it's pink sugar. I don't know if it's vanilla, coconut. I don't know if it's marshmallow. They all are starting to run together for me. So I'm going to enjoy that though. That's going to go amazing in my basket. We have some waxy taffy here. Ooh, I tried this and I like this. This is cherry swirled cheesecake. Such a strong cherry. Um, Mouth-watering aroma of homemade cheesecake swirled with decadent cherries baked to perfection. Yeah, this is such a good, a good cherry. I might actually tone this down though with some maraschino sugar cookie or this might amp up the cherry in the maraschino sugar cookie, but I love that. Thank you. Then we have pink chiffon here from Lavender and Speckles. I'm not even halfway through the box, you guys. <laughs> oh, see, pink chiffon on its own is not as floral as I thought it was. It's very pretty, though, but it's not like, it's like a body care. Musky type of cake or pie or frosting type scent. I don't know how to describe pink chiffon. I just know it has petals in it. I don't know what kind of petals, but it's still pretty. I like that. We have some more up the creek in Boom Boom. Now that I know that espresso and Boom Boom go well together, and now that I have this on its own, I haven't poured myself some Boom Boom by itself yet, though. That is a really nice Boom Boom, though. Hmm. I bet this will smell amazing with some vanilla birch. I like this one. This one doesn't, doesn't, um... Sometimes, like, the tuberose that's in Boom Boom is off-putting to me. But this one, that note specifically in this pour does not give me those vibes. I'm very much going to try that. Um, mixed with some vanilla birch wax that I have in this basket. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's like they're sandwiched in here. Oh, I love this. I had this only in a bunch. I think our sample and I was like oh I have to get more this is eight crazy nights from L3 waxy wonders this is blackberry jelly fried dough and a hint of campfire smoke this is what made me fall in love with bakery mixed with blackberry and smoke this is so good her donut is amazing you definitely pick up on that dough but the smoke and the blackberry just it's magical this is a perfect fall scent for me. Thank you. Um, we have some more. <laughs> Maybe these two can go together. 
This one's another boardwalk board. I always say that weird. Boardwalk marshmallow clouds blend. Maybe we can put those two together. I don't like when they do that. I understand like the trying to make it quick to make samples, but you can put it together. I don't know. It just smells like boardwalk mallow clouds, but I like it. That one could definitely go to my bedroom too. Gee, when you get like a random something in your eye and you can't see nothing. <laughs> okay, so I'm guessing this is the brick that she wanted to offload. This is perfectly pomegranate. I have a scent memory tied to this scent. It is so much more tart than I remember, but I love that there's no spice in this. This is fruity, but dark and delicious. Um, my son, when he started at middle school and they got, or the kids got their first lockers, I got him a scent pack in perfectly pomegranate. And every time his friends will come around his locker, they'd be like, oh, your locker smells so good. And he was like, I love this thing, mom. It makes my locker smell the bestest one. And if you know anything about boys, they are smelly little creatures. <laughs> so <laughs> the fact that he had the best smelling locker, even amongst all the girls, he was like, I love this. I'm like, okay. Um, but yeah, so I never had, I never bought the brick or the bar and I think it retired before I had a chance to actually melt the bar. So thank you so much for this. I will put this to good use. Pomegranate is something I enjoy year round. Um, to me, it's like a, like a dark berry, kind of like a plum or, you know, like a blackberry. I like all those kind of fruity notes. So very much and enjoy that on its own, but also mix it up. Okay. And then the rest in here. Oh, there's some more things in here. Emily, I'm trying to, Save your stuff for the last. You better stop it. Okay. Because your stuff is more... It's like you made... I bet you made samples of all of your scents. Which is genius, by the way. I am not organized like that. But I have a little bit of everything in here, you guys. So I'm so excited. Okay, last these last few things and then we'll hit it, um, Emily's stuff. We have a loaf here of Mrs. Claus's Cookies and Zucchini Bread. Say less. I think I have this in a scoop. Or no, I have cookies with the Clauses and Zucchini Bread. Either way. They were it was like in March and they were having all the cookie blends mixed with Zucchini Bread. I'm like, I want one each. Her zucchini bread is so potent. Jennifer's zucchini. I know it's going to come to life and warm. I'm not getting, like, I'm getting sweetness, but I don't, I can't pick out what kind of cookies are in this. Or if it's only, like, one oil that is Mrs. Claus's cookies mixed with zucchini bread. But I will put this to good use because I love, like, a vanilla-based bakery scent. I love to mix it and then stuff with like strawberry. Maybe tone down some woodsiness. I use, I will utilize it. Thank you very much. Okay, I'm gonna have to put that over there. Next up, we have uh, maybe a bitty penny. Yeah, I think that's how big this is. Okay, so this is an asylum. I haven't had this yet. So this is Sweater Weather, Vanilla Bean Noel, and Cranberries. I don't think I've tried anything with Sweater Weather in it yet. And I know people who shop at Bath and Body Works are like, what? You haven't had Sweater Weather? I haven't. Oh, I'm definitely getting the Cranberries. And whatever's in Sweater Weather. I mean, I'm... I want to say there's bergamot, maybe. There's like some sort of citrus and a musk. My nose could be completely off. But that is kind of amazing. Kind of phenomenal and perfect for fall. And guess where it's going? Right here in my basket. My friend fall melting basket, which is going to go through until like the late November. So, okay. Then we have, I guess, another bitty bitty of Cupcakes at Tiffany's. 
thank you, because I am out of all the things, cupcakes and tippies. Yeah, she's got a good cupcakes and tiffies oil. I've had like three different ones and each they're both I mean they're similar but some of them are richer than the others but that one is a really good version I'll put that on there okay then we have another sample here Frankenstein from Traverse City I have had this before and it is phenomenal it's pumpkin pecan waffles and I think cupcakes basically yeah and it's so good it's just so delicious and I honestly think that blend which is simple in itself. Made me fall in love with pumpkin pecan waffles. It's so good. Um, and then we have, oh, I haven't had this yet. This is a swanky buttery toast and jam, strawberry pound cake and custard. I haven't had any of her. I think I've had one buttery toast and jam. It was like a shot cup and I can't remember what else was in it. Maybe raspberry, I think. It was a gift from summer. And it was a hot minute ago. I love when she does her chunks. Ooh. That is going in my sample basket for my tea lights. Yum. Love that. Okay. Oh, how sweet. Thank you. <laughs> a lip gloss here from Bath and Body Works and Sweet Carrot Cake. Is it color? No, it's clear. Thank you. My lips are always chapped or my lips always look dry. And I don't know if that's being 40 or just talking too much, but thank you. I am always in the need for lip sustenance. And then the rest, you guys, are all her goodies. Thank you so much for watching and enjoying this first part of my friend mail. I will be back with a part two going over the blend that Emily had put in of the candle nurse. Very much looking forward to that. Thank you so much.